What's up everyone? My name is Paul Savola. Uh, inside this video, we're going to be talking about the GoDaddy masking forward not working. And I'll show you another option. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But anyways, inside this video, uh, so the other day I logged in to GoDaddy and I was trying to do a forward and masking. Tried to do a forward on these two, which I focus on real estate SEO and to collect their emails and nothing worked. So I, I tried on this one uh, to use my capture pages and my for my webinars and things like that and nothing was working. So even if we go and we look on right in commission.us it's still the same thing. So, so I was searching around for a different method of how to do this, and the only method I could come up with is go through HostGator and do a mask and forward in there. So, inside this video and inside of HostGator, we are going to do a mask and forward. So, one of the first steps that you're going to need to do, uh, you're going to have to go down where it says Files, and you're going to hit File Manager. Uh, just hit root or anyone that you want to choose for it to be on. Then you hit go and you're, you should pop up a new window. And on the new window, you don't have a bunch of options and you want to go to public. And you want it to drop down. And you see it's already on Paul Savola. So we're, we're going to stick with that. And from there, your next next uh, thing that you're going to do is you want to create a folder. Now, when you're creating this folder, so this is the opt opt-in I'm going to be small business leads. Uh, so what I'm going to do is when you're creating your folder, you you want to set it up in dashes. If you just put it like say I I said real estate, I do. Uh, free SEO guide, right? If I just do that without adding the dashes inside of here, it's going to have that 20%. So what you want to do is you want to put dash, then you put SEO, SEO guide, then dash. Uh, these don't have to be capitalized. Let's just put these lowercase. Hold on. So we'll do SEO guide. And put all these lowercase. Then from there, you just hit create new folder. And we're going to look for the new folder. And you want to click on it. And you want to add a new file. And when you add a new file, as the way you want to put it, you want to put index.php. And I want to make this as simple as possible and easy for you to understand. So, so next step, you want to open this, uh, and then you want to hit code editor. I hit code editor, you know, come to this little little page right here, and you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. All you do is hit edit. So you don't. Now, now the code is really easy if you know where to look. So what you want to look for is re redirect masking URL HTML. On. And when you do this, <clears throat> you actually want to go to option number three. As I was saying, you want to go to option number three in the code. So I'm going to look for option number three, and you're going to take all this iframe code, and you're going to copy it. Then you hit Control-C, then you're going back in your editor. And you're just going to paste it. And now, what you, next thing you need to do is you're going to need to grab your your URL. So I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to fucking throw it right inside of here. Then you're just going to paste it. And from there. 
you want to save it. So here's, so this was my big dilemma here. Like you go in here and you do the whole possible free SEO guide, right? Uh, checking up on the Bears and Lions game. But besides this, uh, you're going to have to mess with the options. And this right here, you see this, this, this title right here, this thing looks ugly. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to fix the width. I found out it's about 2100. So you save it again and you refresh. And then that looks about right and you can scroll or you can say not scroll. Okay. So when you're coming in here, it says no, no scrolling. So you're going to have to bump this up some maybe to 5,000 height. I mean, from there, you just, you just really want to play with the options, uh, what you can do, or you can go into Jing and you can know the exact dimensions that you, that you need to mess with. No, we're going to have to make this smaller. That's what that is. So we can do like maybe like 900. And you'll save it again. Okay. So that's good for now, at least. Um, so I just showing you how to mess with the little options above. So the only ones you got to mess with is this. But it was my big dilemma was th this title here. This thing looks ugly. Um, I didn't know what to do. So I did a little searching. So, so here's some of the code that I, I came up with and I'll, 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 uh, and I'll actually give you the code down below. So what you want to do is you want to add your title, your title tag. And as I said, everything will be down below and your description. So when you place this in, it's going to go right under the ACLM and you make a title and we'll just put this as real estate SEO guide and description. Download your free report today. Uh, obviously, I will fix it, but that's pretty much the end of the code that, that you'll need to have. So you just need the HTML on the title, the meta. Uh, if you really want to get an image, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I'm not a coder, so... I, I pretty much grabbed all this code and found little pieces of this video and this video and I put it all in one video. So now when we refresh, we're going to have a whole different video. See, it says real estate SEO guide. Now, say if you're going to go into Facebook, hey, let's go into Facebook and originally it would just show just a regular image. At 20%, I, I got to get rid of that. And how you actually get rid of that is you're going to actually come up in here. And you're going to go where it says free SEO guide and you want to rename. And from there, you, you hit, hit rename and it, and it should come up. Oops. You just want to click on this back, hit this and code editor, and it should have fixed it. Yeah, see, it already fixed it. It doesn't have that gap now. So when you come in here, when you grab this, you can load it back up in here. Here, let's go to LinkedIn. I'll show you there was going to be a gap. But when you come into LinkedIn, 
you will no longer have that gap in between it. Oops. Okay, let's cancel this. I actually wanted to show you. Um, but anyways, you shouldn't have that gap, so it should be possible.com forward slash free SEO guide. So it's not letting me do it. Hold on. I, I got to get the whole deal here. I was, I was about to log in, but okay. So obviously all the stuff didn't update yet. I don't think I even updated it actually. So you don't hit save. And now everything should be good. Uh, it, it might take a couple minutes for it to go through its all its stuff. But overall, it's going to be done. So that is how, instead of going through GoDaddy, you can have this directly on your own website. And you don't have to worry about buying other domain names. But on that's the end of my video. Uh, if, you, if you like this video, share it, comment, um, and share it to some of your people that you think would this would be useful. Anyways, my name is Paul Savola, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, everyone. Peace.